my god. Oh my god. Okay. I am on Jeff's BMW GS. I've never ridden a BMW before. So yeah, this is going to be quite interesting. Straight away, you can tell you're on a bigger bike. It does feel a bit different. Comfy, but different. Just a bit nervous because it's, I think it's the heaviest bike I've ever ridden. I don't know what the weight is. I really don't know what the weight is. Oh, listen to that popping on the overrun. Oh, yeah, I like that. <laughs> Man, I'm nervous. Oh, I feel like you and McGregor. Oh, you haven't got brakes. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> kind of feels a bit floaty on the front end. I don't know if that's a characteristic of these. Because I've got a, it's a paralever front end, apparently. That's what they call it. It just feels a bit, yeah, it feels quite floaty. It's the best description I can give it. it just feels weird. I've never ridden a bike with a boxer engine before. Yeah, I mean, it's the biggest, biggest CC and heaviest bike I've ever ridden to date. I'm just glad I can reach the bloody floor on it. Can't get used to the indicators, I must admit. Oh, it's really weird when you when you rev it, you can. Oh, can't get used to the indicators. I've got winter gloves on, which doesn't help. It doesn't really help. These winter gloves have got no feel, so I can't feel the switch gear that easily. But when you rev it, you can you can feel it going side to side. It's really, really ooh, strange. I don't want to stop. Oh, yeah. I say I can reach the floor. I only just about can reach the floor. Let's off road. I can't get used to sit. Straight away, I'm struggling with the indicators. The council, you've got like an indicator switch on the left, indicator switch on the right, and then the council button is a separate button on the right, just below the throttle. And I can't... It's just really odd. But the engine is very, very torquey. Very torquey, and actually, surprisingly, it feels quite nimble. For a big bike, So it's not too bad for slow speed. It's just really a really strange bike to ride actually. It's a big brute of a machine, that's for sure. I can't get used to that sensation. I really can't get used to that sensation. You feel it pushing, pulling you sideways. It's, it is a nice riding position. Gotta say, it is nice. Nice and comfy. 
arms are comfortable, arse is comfortable, feet are comfortable. It's actually the first shaft driven bike I've ridden as well. You can imagine on long trips this would be really nice, really comfy, effortless cruising. I mean, the only written the red line is 8,000 RPM. This is makes all its torque low down, I guess. <laughs> Very strange, <laughs> but I like it. So that's the only thing I find, I suppose if you're used to it, but I'm finding every time I want to cancel the indicators I have to throttle off to concentrate on the in cancelling the indicator. So that's, uh, you know, not quite keen on that I've got to be honest, but I suppose once you get used to it it becomes second nature. Trying to avoid riding a bike with wind protection. Second gear, well I'll try third gear actually. So third gear, 30 mile an hour, 3000 RPM. <laughs> it just pulls. <laughs> it just pulls. Oh, amazing. It's just so talky. It's got a lot of torque. I thought my triple was talky, but bloody hell, this thing's talky. Yeah, the slow speed riding is really good on this. It's actually, you, I suppose because of the way the engine's configured, the centre of gravity is low down, but you think to yourself, oh, it's a big bike, it's going to be unwieldy, but I tell you what, slow speed, it's actually a pussycat. Bloody hell, this thing has got masses of torque. You can tell it's built for, um, you know, adventure, because the front end is so bouncy. I'll be honest, and I don't think Jeff, you know, would mind me saying this, this is not the sort of bike that I would go for, but I can see the appeal. I really can see the appeal. It's not as nimble as a street triple, you know, but it's never going to be. It's a totally different bike for a totally different purpose. But it, you know, slow speed, it's, it's nice and stable. I mean it is a big beast of a thing, I mean the first time I got up close to one of these I was quite amazed at how big they actually are. Brakes are good. It's just uh, the torque is impressive, very impressive. I mean, the other day when Jeff rode that, he said that he was quite surprised compared to his Hornet. Uh, the engine was it was a bit like an electric motor. It was all torque from low down, but well, I'd say this is the same. You know, the same sensation. Low down, any, any gear, any throttle opening, it will just pull. It will just pull. The weirdest thing leaning it. When I lean my street triple, it just leans in, it feels normal. This, because it's... You're sitting quite high up, it seems quite a long way down to go. And you're on sort of chunky tyres as well, which is a bit of a... You're thinking, oh God, you know. It's not sports rubber, is it? You know, they're chunky mixed terrain tyres. So yeah, this is not a full type review. Just an impromptu, just said, do you want to go on it? I was like... Yeah, go on then, I'll have a go. It's not the sort of bike I don't think I'd ever buy. But it's not to say it's a bad bike, it's just we're all different, aren't we? Otherwise we wouldn't be human if we all like the same things. I like it, it's two wheels. I like the torque of the engine, I like the sound of the engine. It's comfortable. You could do 200 miles on this and not get a, a, a numb arse. 
I would imagine two up it's very capable but it's just the torque of the engine that's the, the impressive thing about it suspension's very compliant very soft very forgiving compared to my street which you hit a bump in that and it knocks the eyeballs out your sockets but then this bike is you know built for all things really built for touring bit, bit of off-roading you do feel like you've got a lot of road presence on this that's for sure As you feel you know I can tell I'm on a bigger machine it's quite wide Here I am, I'm coming, grateful for the opportunity to ride it, you know, one bike I've never sort of ridden. But it's almost like it's a bit agricultural in a way, which I don't mean to knock it, it's built for built to last and be robust but everything feels like manly on it you know like clunk I'm changing gear you know it's like my street triple is a, a fast sprinter and this is a, a marathon slogger you know anyway until next time thanks for watching goodbye